In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to convert your Pinterest personal account to a Pinterest business account. So for starters, I need you to go to business.pinterest.com and you're going to come to this lovely page right here. Now under tools, you're going to find Pinterest analytics, rich pins and viable pins. So these are the three major features you get when you sign up for a Pinterest business account that you don't get access to with a personal account. So for starters, Pinterest analytics is very important as an online business owner because it's going to give you insights into what pins are performing the best, which ones are not doing so well, and it's going to help you make better decisions about what kind of content you're pinning to your account so that your followers can continue to grow and you can continue to get more people to your website using Pinterest. So analytics is one of the most important features why you want to switch to a business account, but also you're going to get access to rich pins and viable pins. So rich pins, I'm going to show you an example in a second here. They basically sync with your website. So anytime you're linking to a blog post, it's going to pull extra data and information from your blog to make the pin a little bit more specific than the normal pins that you would see on Pinterest. So it's kind of hard to explain without actually showing you. So I'm going to come over here and show you a live example. So I'm going to type in golf exercises into the search bar and it's going to try to show me pins that are relevant to that search query. So right here, you're going to see one of my pins ranking near the top in the search feed. So it says for golf exercise to build your core muscles. So this is the pin when somebody clicks on it, it's going to open it up and they're going to be able to scroll down and they're going to be able to see basically the article. It's going to say article from golf practice guides. It's going to have the read it link. So with a rich pin, it's going to be in bold so that people know that it's a rich pin. It's going to have your profile here, your profile picture here, and it's going to say article from and then your business name. So this is a little bit more fancy compared to, you know, traditional pins. And then it pulls this information here. Uh, from your blog post and then here's the description of the pin that I wrote in when I was uploading this pin to Pinterest but this description right here came from my actual blog post itself so it's kind of kind of cool that they give you some extra information to, and it helps you know make your pin look more professional so that it gets a higher chance of people clicking the read it button to check it out all right so back here again under tools buyable pins these are pins that you can upload that have price tags on them that take people directly to a product page. So if I come back in here to my website board that has all of my blog posts and product pins, I can go ahead and click on one of my product pins that I've uploaded. So here you can see it put in $49. So it pulled that price from my store page and inserted it here so that people can see you know, how much my product is and they can tell that this is a buyable pin. So that's another cool feature you get when you sign up for a business account is it can you, can you can link directly to your store pages and your products and then Pinterest will pull that information and show it here on your pin to give people you know more information to help them decide if they want to click through to your product page or not. All right, so now that we've gone over the three major reasons here why you want a business account, let's go ahead and convert your personal account to a Pinterest business account. So go under the getting started tab to set up your account and it's going to bring you to the set up your account page here where you can sign up for a business account if you don't have an account at all. But if you've already got a personal Pinterest account, then you're going to need to come here where it says to convert to a business account and you're going to find the link here that says convert to a business account. So go ahead and click this link. And it's going to ask you to enter your business name, business type, website, and then press convert. So I'm going to go ahead and add in golf drills as my business name, business type. We'll select professional since that has me as a blogger. And then website, we'll enter 100golfdrills.com, press convert. All right, and now you've got a business Pinterest account. You can see now up here they've added analytics and ads to your menu bar and then they've adjusted everything over here. So now you've got the profile picture where you can access your profile and your settings, your billing. And then we've got the message button here now where you can access your notifications in your inbox. 
And then the plus sign is where you can upload an image if you're trying to create a new pin, or you can create an ad, or if you're on a website URL, you can hit save from site, enter the website URL, and then you can pull a picture from that. So this is your new dashboard layout once you've converted to a business account. It's pretty easy to use. And then to get to your home feed, you just press the big Pinterest icon here. So now in the next video, since we've got a Pinterest business account, we're going to need to set up rich pins. So we're going to be walking you through how to set up rich pins so that you can get those fancy pins that have all the professional looking information on them to help out your followers and people seeing your pins.